Gotcha. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cheese. Starbucks, baby. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, your boy is back. I am making a consistency 2022 year for Forex community. And uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to be uploading loads of videos. I'm going to be doing a trading breakdown for VIP. We hit all the take profits. We had zero losses. It was absolutely crazy. Plus like 19% in VIP this week. Zero losses because I know you love that. And really good risk to reward. Buy limits, everything like that. If you are new around here, make sure to like, subscribe and check out the free trade, the VIP. But before you do that, watch the whole of this video because the, the knowledge you guys can learn from this and for the next foreseeable future of the gold industry, I actually talk about that as well. So make sure to watch the whole video. It's been your boy TJ. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. One hour later. Back on the charts. Back like I never left. Let's go, baby. Yes. It is your boy, TJ. I'm going to show you a breakdown of the trades I took last week in VIP. I'm going to do this every single week for you guys, even when we have losing weeks, which doesn't really happen a lot. But I'm going to do it just to be transparent because a lot of people just, you know, they flex the wins and not the losses. However, I use really short pip losses, okay, short SLs, 20 pips, and then I have decent sized take profits, not unrealistic at all either. These TPs are likely to be smashed, and technically, the trade that I'm going to start off with, smash TP1 and it smash TP2, but I just wanted to secure the TP2 for about 180 pips, that was, because I didn't want to wait for, the, you know, that 1%, because we already made a load of money on it, and remember guys, you know, if you're using a $400,000 account like myself, 1% is 4000 if you're making 14-15% on a trade, you're making absolute bags, which is why I can continue, you know, doing this sort of stuff in on YouTube, and keep uploading videos for you guys, because the profits that we're hitting are absolutely insane, I've got some big stuff on the way as well, with a new funded company, which I won't tell a lot about at the moment. However, let's get a breakdown of this trade. So the 3rd of January, it was sent. It was a buy limit. And I've already got it mapped out right here. And as you can see, literally we got in at this buy limit on the 3rd of January at 3 p.m. Mind you guys, when gold does stuff like this, it's always gonna likely retest before another impulsive move. For example, this right here at 1790, we come down to 1795, then we come down to 1798 and then we went bullish all the way to 1830 now with this entry obviously previous 1830 pushed out of this zone that we've got mapped out here which is why gold is bullish right now as you can see all these lower highs staggering up okay it's all it's ascending up there's no wick out bearish movement which will probably come later in at 1815 which is you know my main target for gold at this moment of time 2022 could see gold go back to 2000 which would be absolutely crazy but let's get on this 15 minute time frame firstly just to give you guys a better understanding why i should go in so as i said this previous lower high here touched impulse up this previous lower high come to the highs on this quick little 15 minute time frame and as you see you know it's going to act as some sort some sort of resistance that's all it's doing it's collecting all this retesting okay guys you need to look at overall market direction as well like i said gold is staggering up it's staggering up staggering up staggering up broke out of the zone here 8 and 14 dropped massive retest back to the bullish engulfing candle wicked out everyone then it went long again made new highs back down done it again and that's why it's going to go to 8 and 15 and sell off again okay we're going to see gold bullish for a while but like I said, retesting, lower high, spike up, 18.30, pushed out of the zone, bearish sells, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Obviously, I'm going to do a scalping strategy, but this is the one hour break, retest, retest in a previous wick out, lower high, sell off. Guys, this this uh, strategy that I'm bringing out in the next like, week or less than a week is absolutely insane. Look at that. Sell here, break, retest, sell here, sell, sell, two sells, skadoosh, all the way down. Can't even hold because it's going to retest. Could have retested back up at 1820 or it's going to retest around, you know, the 1810, 1808. So, again, obviously, you're closing here because of the bias. We know gold's a bullish market. You are not going to continue holding yourselves. That's why a lot of people go around as well. They don't hold their trades out. 
but you've got to hold your trades but know when to exit the market and that's the most important thing so we saw it touch here once we know it's going to find support here we know it's going to collect orders and pin up however overnight during the yen session during tokyo we saw it just stagger up but range range a lot range a lot range a lot come back down to retest at about three four one two two p.m roughly which is you know new york session and then boom new york opens and skadoosh all the way bullish and that's all it is it's, it's a retest pull back down here wicking out all the old buyers that were buying here for that bullish push up then people were holding still aiming for 815 huge fat retest on the bearish because gold when it sells it sells hard now we see buys we're in it and we smash tp1 at 1808.50 and tp2 1818.50 which was here right here up here However, we closed for 180 pips on TP2, so we profited 280 pips, 1% risk per each TP, making us a total of 280 pips, which is 14% just on that one trade, just there. And that was a buy limit, first trade taken, January the 3rd, which obviously I've shown on the screen for you guys, my editor will do that, my guy for the editing. And um, yeah, not a lot really. SL entry, of course, you move it here when you see a spike up. And beautiful stuff it's not coming back here could potentially sometimes we'll pull back one two three but you've got to be unfortunate if it does do that then you just got to believe in your analysis and get involved on a trade another thing is don't phone me your entries but obviously if the trades have to be taken and you believe in yourself like myself as a trade you have to believe in yourself you know even you just got to have faith in your trades okay you've got to have faith in market direction like i said the overall market direction staggering up the lower highs we wicked out at 1752 not quite touched 1750 which was a surprise and yeah it'll be interesting to see how gold moves now obviously on the one hour um today it's the 10th so at the moment that's on 1800 level so interesting to see maybe a pullback to 1820 some sort of like that i'll do more videos on that obviously but moving on to the next trade we've got a discord as well make sure to join that up we post all of the members profits in there they do it individually for themselves and it is really really helpful okay so the next trade we took was 1788 buys now let me get this up for you we're going to put it in a thing 1788 buys SL 1786 take profit was 1808. So as I said, again, 200 pip take profit, 20 pip for sell. Using that 10 to 1 risk to reward. If you don't know what risk to reward is, it is basically traders in the industry will have 50 pip for sales and 50 take, pro take profits, which only gives you a 1%. Okay, so it's a 1 to 1 risk to reward, R to R. Now I aim for 20 pip for sales and make sure I have nice tps to hit a good r twine for example 100 pips is normally around the range that gold moves when it ranges into channels that 100 pips is five percent you know i can lose five trades in a row but hit 100 pip profit and be break even that is why it's so important to be able to risk manage which i can make a video on if you guys want like this video let me know in the comments i can show you and tell you what it's about as you can see look gold 1800 level respected but we'll see what happens obviously you know this is today but the 6th of january we actually had this trade out like this and of course you know i was moving like plus 15 pips in profit from one as you can see from one o'clock onwards we were just in profits you know we was always in profits a small little bit of drawdown but mainly into profits and it went into you know decent profits i believe that we come you know not far off hitting 100 pips on this trade not far off at all it was like 50 pips away so it was up 50 pips Moved this sell to entry and we got taken out at entry, which was this wick here. Absolutely fine with that. Break even. Move this sell to entry always, guys, to avoid risk after 20 pips. That's why I tell all of my members, 20 plus pips, let's move this sell to entry. We're up 1 to 1 R to R, which is 1%. But we don't have to overtrade or take the risk in losing a percent. There's nothing in the world that's risk-free. But when you've got a trade and you've got your lots on that trade and you see money and you've got SL entry, there's not a better feeling than that trade because you're risking absolutely nothing, but the potential could be absolutely huge. For example, if you hold a trade, let's say buys from, I don't know, let's say buys from 1782. I thought it was going to come down 1780, have my sell li uh, buy limit here, but it'd wick out this lower height and then go up and it didn't, which is kind of weird at the moment. Gold's not so much moving out and wicking out a lot 
it's just going just shy. And what I mean by that is 17.53 down here on these lower highs. 17.15 is a key level for gold. I would have thought it would have come down to there, and it didn't. 17.82, I thought it was coming to 17.80. So we're just missing missing certain trades by a few pips. But moving back onto that, so we hit a seller entry, break even, no stress, just finesse. So I had another trade, which was 17.80 by limit, okay? After this trade, I was like, okay, fair enough. We are bearish, we are bearish. Let's go, let's catch buyers. And it was 17.82, uh, 17.80 buyers. And this was the trade right here, which is what I wanted to take. This was during NFP, by the way, on Friday, this trade was taken on the 7th of January, because I thought NFP would at least take it down after this buy hit in SL at break even. I thought it would at least take us down to 17.18 for that retest, because, you know, 17.18 was just a key level for gold, and that's just how I, how I trade. And this trade right here, Okay, was a beautiful, beautiful trade. It was a potential 300 pips again, 15%. Right, 15% trade. We had 17, 19, 100 pips, 1800 TP2, which was up here. Now, as you can see, looking at this entry, 17, 18, profit target, 1800, 17, 78. As you can see, missed out by 20 pips. And we would have hit TP1, TP2 waking up Monday morning. This is filmed at 12.46 p.m. We would have hit TP1 and TP2. So that was a buy limit that we actually sent. Um, you know, would have hit TP1, TP2. As you can see on the screen, we put it on there. However, missed by 20 pips, which was unfortunate. But it is what it is, you know. I have to believe in my analysis, but also stick to my analysis. And that doesn't mean, you know, you can adjust to the market's conditions, but... I want to always wait because I'm on I'm on this new year now where I'm not going to try and take an SL just to try and get in a trade and find my entry. I'm just going to wait, let my limits hit and suffer that. And if it comes in, comes in. If it don't, it don't. Because nine times out of ten, my direction is key. But I just don't get the best sort of save you rush into your entry with 20 pip of sales. You don't have a lot of leverage. Therefore, I want to go to the exact point, and if it doesn't come to the exact point, then I'm not going to get in the trade. Now, I think this might be potentially a good way of trading. Um, I'll let you guys know, obviously, first week in zero losses. So that was that. We managed to also catch a 1794 sells. Now, after we spiked up, I believed that we was going to make some money. And uh, and this was just, you know, sells to retest. Nothing special, but just a retest. Because I thought it's going to spike up. Go to around 1800, go all the way back down to 17 and 18 before going on to 1850. Okay, this is my analysis at the moment. Now, I was going to send sales today at 1800 because 1800 is another key level in gold. As you see, 1802.50, wicked out, come up, wicked out, failed to make new highs, selling off right now. So, we're potentially, when you guys see this, you might even see gold at 17 and 18 because I'm going to upload this video today on Monday. Hopefully, my editor can get this all done for you guys. So, 17 18 all the way to 1850, which is up here. Okay, it's always gonna it's gonna retest back up here, guys. And if anyone's saying it's not, then they don't know how to trade. Make sure to join VIP by the way for this big trade because I will send it. But 1718, I'm waiting for, and this was the sales 1794 entry we caught on the sales, which was a good it was a good entry. You know, we was running in profit, and this one was running like plus 10 pips, and I was like, Do you know what? We're going to move our sell to entry because we don't want to take any sort of risk here. And this sell was also a 160 pip sell. And obviously, 160 pip take profit. And obviously, it didn't come in. Absolutely fine by that. No loss taken either on this trade because SL at break even, ladies and boys and girls. But this was the sort of trade that we took. Obviously, as you can see, max pips wise, we made about... You know, 20, 25 pips on this trade. Moved our sell to break even. And then obviously, you know... Today, it wicked us out, but we've got SL break even anyway. Absolutely fine, no risk taken. Wicked out 800 key level now. Potential sells, okay. This is potential sells. We obviously have to see if this breaks down all the way to 1786. But 1780 is my next target for everyone watching this. 1780 to 1850, that's 700 pips. I will be using a 20 pip SL. Save you to that trade. That's a potential 40% trade right there, if you guys wanted that trade. It's been your boy TJ, much love on the content. I'm going to keep producing content because I'm loving the grind, I'm loving the YouTube grind. 
Um, you know, this is what I love to do. I love to make videos for you guys. I love to give you guys a better perce uh, perception of trading and trading gold. You, you know, it's very, very difficult to actually learn the markets. But if I can teach you and you guys can learn from me about market direction and how the charts actually move, then we are both winning at this game. Because if you guys get better, I'm getting better. And when I get better, you guys get better. So much love. I fucking love you guys. Join the Discord, the free trading group, the VIP. Do whatever you want. Support me. I appreciate you. Much love. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.